Warning, this reading contains subject matter that may be disturbing or distressing to many. Listener discretion is highly advised. Hey there! Are you here to learn about friendship? Twilight Sparkle's mane is a mess. Her iris is dilated. No? What's that? You want to hear about how I became so paranoid? Twilight sighs. I guess I can't put this out forever. It would be easier to show you my memories. Close your eyes. Twilight Sparkle. The stern sound of Celestia's voice caused me to wince and draw back a bit. i just been through a bit of a rough day. After I let loose a spell to attract every pony greedily to my old doll from childhood, I knew what was coming. I'm very disappointed in you, Twilight Sparkle. Your task was simple. Why couldn't you follow it? One letter of friendship a week. I felt like sinking into the ground. My head hung low, and I was almost whimpering from the scolding. I... I'm sorry, princess. I tried. Nothing went wrong to be learned from this week. The princess gave me a still more stern look than she already was. Nothing went wrong except what you caused, Twilight. On top of failing to upkeep your task here, you even went so far as to cause an uproar that threatened the well-being of Ponyville. What do you have to say for yourself? I lowered my head further, ears flat against the sides of my head. N nothing. I could barely get the word through my lips. Celestia stood up at full height. As I thought... I'm ashamed to have considered you my prize student. You don't seem to have a grasp on even the most basic principle of magic. If you had the idiocy to create uproar like that, I'm afraid there can only be one remedy. I gulped. I knew what Celestia was about to say. Magic Kindergarten. This is where you'll be staying, Twilight Sparkle. I hope you don't mind living on campus. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> just fine. <laughs> Nothing wrong with living on campus. It'll be just like college, right? I gave a nervous, clearly fake smile. The pony who had just finished giving me an evening tour of the school raised a brow, but decided not to press the matter and took her leave. I sighed and dropped the act. Phew. Finally. Peace and quiet. I then frowned. Oh, I miss my friends already. Ugh. Come on, Twilight. Calm down. Why are you talking to yourself? What will the fillies and fools think seeing me in their class? The door began to open and I looked up. Princess. A chuckle came from the orange pony as she entered, but her look turned serious when she saw me. Gee, Twy, you look worse than ever. You sure you're alright? Oh, better than ever. <laughs> Don't worry about me. The smile, again fake, on my face felt like it did nothing to hide the mare's nervousness. Applejack gave me a worried look. You sure? Yep. Positive? Absolutely. Applejack thought for a second before deciding to accept my words. Well, if you ever need me, you can always give me a call. She used to hover over to give me a reassuring pat on the shoulder before turning and walking out. Balls and fillies! and fillies! The teacher's words quickly hushed the noisy kindergarten classroom. I was standing beside her, looking at the young ponies nervously. 
A few strands of hair stuck out of my mane and tail. I was sure. The light done her best to brush my hair that morning. Fools and fillies, I'd like to introduce you to a new addition to our class, Twilight Sparkle. This was met with confused looks from all the students, one of whom spoke up. New student? But she's like at least 20 years old! Yes, I know she's older than the rest of you, but I want you all to treat her as if she's one of your own. Is that clear? You're not a filly, and you're in kindergarten? <laughs> you must be really dumb! At this, the class roared in laughter, many of the students pointing at me mockingly. I frowned. This was going to be torture. I examined myself in a mirror. Over the last few days, my hair had been steadily growing more stubborn, and now it looked like an uncombed mess. Straight hair stuck out in random places, but I brushed and brushed for the last hour. I sighed. The fillies and fools in my class, if it could be called such a civil thing, had pestered me with teasing and insulting questions since I had been introduced to them. But there was nothing to worry about. Someday... My thoughts were interrupted by the opening of my bedroom door. I looked to the door through my mirror. Yes? I heard you. Oh, my toi! Applejack came up beside me, right now more than ever. You look like you've been stressing out too much. What's on your mind, cowgirl? No, nothing. <laughs> I looked at my four hoofs. Okay, yeah. The students here keep making fun of me. They call me stupid and dumb and other mean things. Some things little pony shouldn't say. I look at my orange friend with sadness. Gosh, Twa. I wish I could get you out of here. I really do. Them ponies don't know what they're doing, trust me. I'm afraid of what I may do to them. Applejack cocked a brow. Uh, pardon? Oh, nothing, Applejack. Don't worry about it. Applejack blinked. Right. Well, I guess I'll see you in a week, Twa. Don't get yourself into too much trouble, you hear? I smiled. I won't. With that, Applejack left the room. A few minutes later, I grasped my backpack with my magic and walked out after. On my way to class. They were dead. All of them. I killed them. When the teacher had gone outside for a minute, I had shut and locked the door. I looked at my work. Looked about the room. Some ponies lay still in their desks, having been the rather more fortunate targets of a spell I started with. Others were on the floor, heads and ribs bashed in. The brutal work of my rear hooves. Still more were huddled in a bloody mess in the corner. Pencils jutting through bloody entrance wounds. The result of still more magic. All oh, my doing. All of them deserved it. After laughing at me so much. I heard a whimper in the bloodbath corner. And snapped my gaze to the mass of bodies. One of them was still moving. Shivering. I levitated the filly, who began to squirm desperately, and held her down before me with magic. The filly was clearly scared out of her wits, struggling against the magic holding her down. Tears covered her cheeks, the occasional sniffle coming out. Let me go! I don't want to die! I looked down at the filly, and then at the blood on my hooves, and back at the filly. You... Why did you do this? I had to. I have to. The filly began to struggle more earnestly 
has a piece of chocolate in your face. Open up, sweetheart. <laughs> Suddenly, the door shattered to bits, catching me off guard and releasing the belly from my grasp. She ran off behind the teacher's desk, and several unicorns and pegasi and black suits tackled me to the ground. I looked through the one window in her pet cell. I could just barely make out the words of the two ponies conversing outside. How long has she been in there? A long, long time. Really? When's she gonna be let out? It doesn't matter now. Ponyville's gone to hell. She'll be sent back soon enough. They're always watching me. Twilight looks away, tears rolling from our cheeks. I don't want to remember any more than that. Go. Please. Support me on Patreon and Ko-fi. Links in the description. Thanks for listening and be sure to subscribe. Good night, everypony.